Yo guys, I have something to show you. Yo, this, my lighting is, my lighting is really bad. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm gonna fix it, I swear. All right, guys, so this is pretty much the creative station. This is where I do my editing. I use my, my 27 inch LG uh, 4K monitor. Let me tell you, this thing helps a lot. I have so much more space for better workflow and was powering it. My MacBook 16 it was like a little over $2,000. I got it refurbished on eBay and it, it works great. It does the job. I have my uh, monitor on this, it's a monitor arm. So when, I, when I'm not using my laptop as a second monitor, I just do this. <laughs> you know what I mean though. Oftentimes I'll use it as a second monitor, not just for editing, but if I want to like multitask. I'm still learning how to like edit stuff. So I'll, I'll actually use it to watch tutorials. My last laptop, it was, like, it was a MacBook Air. I was doing all my editing on that. You couldn't split screen it. I kept having to go back and forth. If you're ever doing creative work and you're multitasking, go with the pro. Don't. Don't use an air. That's not what it's made for. But if you have an air and it's always something good to start with, but if you're getting a little fancy with your uh, videos, yeah, definitely uh, move up. And what's holding my laptop is, is this stand by design. I wanted a laptop stand that was adjustable so that I can uh, make it the same level as my monitor. And at first I had my laptop right over here but believe it or not, it's a little bit more exhausting for my eyes to go up and down, like to constantly look up and down <laughs> than to go like left and right. Is that just me? Is that other people too? I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me, please. So this desk, I don't know where it came from and I've had it since high school, I think. But you know, it's still, it does the job. This thing is like underrated. I don't see it on a lot of desks or at least in a lot of desk setups nowadays. Because my desk isn't that long, I just use this as like an extension. It does like a nice level drop from my shoulders. So I'm not like... <laughs> I also have my AirPods here. I pretty much just use these for when I'm like working out or whenever I'm doing whatever that doesn't involve me having to really listen to like sound and stuff. And when I do need to listen to that stuff, that's when I use these noise canceling headphones. These are the uh, Sony's w 8 M3s. Well, I don't like wearing noise canceling headphones when I'm in public because there's a lot of shit that goes down. And if you don't hear it, then I even feel uncomfortable when I'm facing my wall and I'm editing because my back is facing the door. I don't know who's gonna walk in and slit my throat. So for my edits, I use the Logitech MX Master 3. Yo, if you, if you do any type of editing work, this increases workflow tenfold. The scrolling thing, don't even hear it but it's going like a million miles per hour it's really satisfying to use actually you can customize the settings to a specific software for example i've customized it to premiere and i just have all the main shortcuts that i use all over here so i'm like editing with one hand over here sometimes i just be like done also the battery i've only charged this like once after charging it for one minute you have like three hours of use that's insane um what else do i got here so this is my keyboard. It is the Moto Speed 60% gaming keyboard. This is really like a budget keyboard. I don't game or anything, so it didn't really matter that much to me. I just wanted a really cool. All the gaming keyboards are really cool. EP. Oh, let me disconnect this first. I just like the look of a gaming keyboard. I love the feel. Uh, also right, right here, got my Blue Yeti mic. So this is pretty much what I'm using for a podcast. If I need to do any sexy voiceovers. Uh, so I'm gonna be real. It's not the best looking setup and I'll admit that. It gets the job done. And uh, yeah, that's the setup, dude. I have to be back. Hopefully you'll be seeing more consistent content. I know I, like that's been my main thing since I've started this was my consistency, but I'm now starting to realize that it's just from a lot of overthinking. So if you like this video, if you like me, please subscribe. Okay guys, bye. Is that, is that still a thing? Do people still do that?